Good evening and welcome to the third and last presidential debate of 2008 sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. I'm Bob Schieffer of CBS News. The rules tonight are simple. The subject is domestic policy. I will divide the next hour and a half into nine minute segments. I will ask a question at the beginning of each segment. Each candidate will then have two minutes to respond and then we'll have a discussion. I'll encourage them to ask follow-up questions of each other. If they do not, I will. The audience behind me has promised to be quiet, except at this moment when we welcome Barack Obama and John McCain. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, welcome. By now, we've heard all the talking points, so let's try to tell the people tonight some things that they, they haven't heard. Let's get to it. Another very bad day on Wall Street, as both of you know. Both of you proposed new plans this week to address the uh, economic crisis. Senator McCain, you proposed a $52 billion plan that includes new tax cuts on capital gains, tax breaks for seniors, write-offs for stock losses, among other things. Senator Obama, you proposed $60 billion in tax cuts for middle-income and lower-income people, more tax breaks to create jobs, new spending for public works projects to cre create jobs. I will ask both of you, why is your plan better than his? Senator McCain, you go first. Well, let me, let me say, Bob, thank you, and thanks to Hofstra, and by the way, uh, our beloved Nancy Reagan is in the hospital tonight. Our thoughts and prayers are going with you. It's good to see you again, Senator Obama. Uh, Americans are hurting right now, and they're angry. They're hurting and they're angry. They're innocent victims of greed and excess on Wall Street, and as well as Washington, D.C. And they're angry, and they have every reason to be angry. And they want this country to go in a new direction. And there are elements of my proposal that you just outlined, which I won't repeat. But we also have to have a short-term fix, in my view, and long-term fixes. And let me just talk to you about one of the short-term fixes. The catalyst for this housing crisis was the Fannie and Freddie Mae that caused the subprime lending situation that now caused the housing market in America to collapse. I am convinced that until we reverse this continued decline in home ownership and put a floor under it, and so that people have not only the hope and belief they can stay in their homes and realize the American dream, but that value will come up. Now, we have allocated $750 billion. Let's take 300 of that billion and go in and buy those home loan mortgages and negotiate with those people in their homes, 11 million homes or more, so that they can afford to pay the mortgage, stay in their home. Now, I know the criticism of this. Well, what about the, the citizen that stayed in their homes, that, that, uh, that paid their mortgage payments? It doesn't help that person in their home if the, if the next door neighbor's house is abandoned. And so we've got to reverse this. We ought to put the homeowners first, and I am disappointed that Secretary Paulson and others have not made that their first priority. All right. Senator Obama. Well, uh, first of all, I want to thank Hof Hofstra University and uh, the people of New York for hosting us tonight, and it's wonderful to join Senator McCain again, and thank you, Bob. Uh, I think everybody understands at this point that we uh, are experiencing the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. And uh, the financial rescue plan that Senator McCain and I supported uh, is an important first step. Uh, and I pushed for some core principles, making sure the taxpayers can get their money back uh, if they're putting money up, making sure that CEOs are not enriching themselves uh, through this process. Uh, and I think that it's going to take some time uh, to work itself out. But what we haven't yet seen is a rescue package for the middle class, because the fundamentals of the economy were weak even before uh, this latest crisis. So I've proposed four specific things that I think can help. Number one, let's focus on jobs. I want to end the tax breaks for companies that are shipping jobs overseas and provide a tax credit for every 
company that's creating a job right here in America. Number two, let's help families right away uh, by providing them a tax cut, a middle class tax cut for people making less than $200,000, and let's allow them to access their IRA accounts without penalty if they're experiencing a crisis. Uh, now, Senator McCain, I agree uh, with your idea that we've got to help homeowners. That's why we included in the financial package uh, a proposal to get uh, homeowners in a position where they can renegotiate their mortgages. I disagree with Senator McCain in how to do it because the way Senator McCain has designed his plan, it could be a giveaway to banks if we're buying full price for mortgages that now are worth a lot less and we don't want to waste taxpayer money. And we've got to get the financial uh, uh, package working much quicker than it's been working. Last point I want to make though, uh, we've got some long-term challenges in this economy that have to be dealt with. We've got to fix our energy policy that's giving our wealth away, we've got to fix our health care system, and we've got to invest in our education system for every young person to be able to learn. All right. And would you like no. to ask him a question? Uh, no. Uh, I would like to mention that a couple of days ago, Senator Obama was out in Ohio, and he had an encounter with a guy who's a plumber. His name is Joe Wurzelberger. Uh, Joe wants to buy the business that he's been in for all these years. Work 10, 12 hours a day. And he wanted to buy the business, but he looked at your tax plan and he saw that he was going to pay much higher taxes. You were going to put him in a higher tax bracket, which was going to increase his taxes, which was going to cause him not to be able to employ people, which Joe was trying to realize the American dream. Now, Senator Obama talks about the very, very rich. Joe, I want to tell you, I'll not only help that you buy that business that you worked your whole life for and be able and I'll keep your taxes low and I'll provide available and affordable health care for you and your employees and I will not have I will not stand for a, a tax increase on s the small business income 50 percent of small business income tax is rate it, taxes are paid by small businesses that's 16 million jobs in America and what you want to do to Joe the plumber and millions more like him is have their taxes increased and not be able to realize the American dream is of owning their own business. That's what, what Joe want. believes. <laughs> the, 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 he's been watching some ads of uh, Senator McCain's. Let me tell you what I'm actually going to do. Um, uh, I think tax policy is a major difference between Senator McCain and myself. Uh, and we both want to cut taxes. The difference is who we want to cut taxes for. Uh, now, Senator McCain, the centerpiece of his economic proposal is to provide $200 billion in additional tax breaks to some of the wealthiest corporations in America. Uh, ExxonMobil and other oil companies, for example, would get an additional $4 billion in tax breaks. What I've said is I want to provide a tax cut for 95% of working Americans. 95%. If you, make more, if you make less than a quarter million dollars a year, then you will not see your income tax go up, your capital gains tax go up, your payroll tax, not one dime. And 95% of working families, 95% of you out there, will get a tax cut. In fact, uh, independent studies have looked at our respective plans and have concluded that I provide three times the amount of tax relief to middle class families than Senator McCain does. Now, the conversation I had with Joe the plumber, uh, what I essentially said to him was, five years ago, when you weren't in a position to buy your business, you needed a tax cut then. And what I want to do is to make sure that the plumber, the nurse, the firefighter, the teacher, the young entrepreneur who doesn't yet have money, I want to give them a tax break now. And that requires us to make some important choices. Last point I'll make about small businesses, not only uh, do 98% of small businesses make less than $250,000, but I also want to give them additional tax breaks because they are the drivers of the economy. They produce the most jobs. You know what Senator Obama ended up his conversation with Joe the plumber? We need to spread the wealth around. In other words, we're going to take Joe's money, give it to Senator Obama, and let him spread the wealth around. I want Joe the plumber to spread that wealth around. You told him you wanted to spread the, w the wealth around. The whole premise behind Senator Obama's plans are class warfare, let's spread the wealth around. I want small businesses, and by the way, the small businesses that we're talking about that would receive an increase in their taxes right now. Who, why would you want to increase anybody's taxes right now? Why would you want to do 